The best businesses are just not for sale. That's the bottom line. And so the best deals are with businesses that aren't for sale. So how do you find businesses that aren't for sale? You just let people know. Remember I said change, did, how many of you actually changed any of your, uh, your social media to say investor over lunch or anything? Yeah, Michael, all right, cool. That's the best way to do it is to let people know that you're an investor and let them know that you're buying businesses, right? That you're interested in buying businesses because that will be the best way that your, the news spreads among your network. So tell your friends and family. Also talk to competitors about how you might work together, how you might refer them, overflow business, um, you know, hey, we're in this together, let's talk about things that are working. There's lots of ways to do that. Approach your competitors. Has anybody here talked to a competitor? Yeah, how, how did that, how'd that go, Barbara? About the business on January 1. <laughs> okay, there you go. It doesn't just work. So it doesn't work at all. No. Nice, okay, yeah, talk to your competitor. How did you approach them? I messaged her saying, I haven't seen you around a while, hon, how you doing? Is your mom okay? I know she's got dementia, she's still home. Hey, by the way, I haven't seen you putting any contact out recently, can I help you? Okay. So your family's having medical issues, I think maybe you're not working the business, I'd like to take advantage of you, that would be a good... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I wrench in my hand Yeah. <laughs> if they're not having health issues, they're going to, unless you sell me the business, okay. Uh, Customers, talk to your customers. Maybe, maybe they know if you say, you know, hey, we're looking to expand. That actually sounds really good to your customers. We're, we're having a really good uh, year. We're doing great and we'd really like to get more business. We'd like to expand. Um, anybody who is distributing in, down, in your downline to distribute stuff, your suppliers, the people that are sending you business, suppliers are really great sources for leads, especially your suppliers know who's paying them late. So if you talk to your suppliers and say, Hey, um, I'm interested in expanding. I'm just wondering, is there anybody that, um, I don't want you to tell me somebody that's late paying, you know, that might be in trouble or anything, but is there anybody that you think I should be talking to that might be interested in selling, right? That I could help them? Right. Um, now your supplier likes that because they know if you buy the business, they're gonna get paid. So it's kind of win-win. Um, also, just going through your phone, I, I have so many things that slip by in my phone that I have no idea slip by. So I'll go through once a month and go back through, I think it's like maybe 250 that the messages that the uh, iPhone holds. And I'll find all these people that I feel so bad I didn't respond to, but I didn't realize I didn't because you know, you're doing like, especially if you're doing a day like this and you get a hundred messages, it's just you know crazy. So sitting in your phone is probably deals. And if you go through your phone contacts, then you'll also maybe find people that you're like, oh yeah, you know, Mary knows a whole bunch of people in that or whatever, right? So they'll, it'll kind of jog your memory. People that you meet, obviously let the people that you meet know that you're interested in buying a business in whatever area you're, you're interested in. Masterminds, War Room, Mastermind, fantastic place to find business, right? Lots of deals going on there. Networking groups like BNI, those kinds of places, Instagram, your, your social contacts, Facebook friends, your contacts in Messenger, your employees. Your employees have family and friends and networks too and they might have family and friends that are in related businesses because that's how they got in your business. Email signature, that's, that's one just to make. Um, it's not necessarily a fantastic way, but it does let everyone that you email know that you're interested. Angel networks are good. I mentioned EO and YPO before. Financial planners know people that are retiring. Hoover's is a, uh, a public pay for research report. Vistage I mentioned. LinkedIn sales navigator. Does anybody here use sales navigator? Yeah, sales, I'm, I love it that so many people do because a lot of people don't even know it exists. Sales Navigator is great. Trade show, trade events, direct mail. Direct mail, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Trade associations, so lots and lots and lots of ways. These are the ways that you're gonna find the businesses that are not for sale. If you want a lot of additional really cool stuff, I've got a whole channel full of it and you should subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. I'm uploading videos all the time. There's a lot of things that are changing in this area and you don't wanna miss out. You don't wanna do it wrong and you don't wanna make the mistakes I made. Subscribe so that you don't miss out and then check out this next video.